Hello everybody, sorry about the mic. My name is Dugout, and uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to uh, create a new, well, create a sprite sheet that's animated for uh, Unity uh, 2D or 3D. You know, it's actually called 3D, but they have 2D tools. So, we're going to be go doing this from scratch. Uh, so actually what I'm going to do is this I just created in paint and just drew two little block guys because I don't want I don't want you guys to sit there and watch me do the whole thing and now once we get that we're gonna open up GIMP once you've created your you know your uh, and choose it in the sequence that you want the animations to be in we're gonna come in here into GIMP and drag in our sprite sheet once we have the sprite sheet dragged in to GIMP. GIMP will be in the description. It's pretty much Photoshop's baby brother. Just select. Use the selection tool, which is in the top left hand corner of the toolbox. If you don't have the toolbox, just click Tool, um, Windows, and Toolbox, and you can do also recently closed docs, and if they're closed, then you can just reopen them. So, once we have this selected, we're going to go down to the color, select color by select by color tool and we're going to click the background once we've clicked the background just click delete 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 never mind excuse me do a control c to copy that and then control shift v open this up then select this now select the background and click delete so now we've got our sprite sheet made and uh, i already have it exported so i'm not gonna go through it just export it as PNG should be good um discard changes discard changes exit so this is what our this is what it looks like but uh don't worry the background is checkered it's just not showing up here also it's going to um uh, the background the checkered as you can see right here this is straight from uh, paint and this is from GIMP so the backgrounds transparent that's what we want. So we're gonna open up. Excuse me, Unity is right here. I'm gonna open Unity and uh, exit out of all this. File new project. We're gonna call it um, 2D animation test. And now we're going to select 2D as our default. So make sure that's you don't need any of these. And also browse in here desktop. We're gonna I, as you can see, I messed up. The reason I messed up is because I uh, set the defaults for 3D, which kind of messes everything up. So now, once we're in here, we're going to call it Animation Test Tube. <laughs> TT Tubes. Alright, now once you have the folder, now open it up, click Select Folder, Folder, whatever you want to call it, click Create. Let Unity do its magic like it always does. Okay, once Unity has done its magic, uh, then you're in here. So, also, the reason that I have these tabs is I'll go ahead and show you uh, these two tabs. Actually, you won't need the animator, but it's just a uh, nice tool to have. The way you add those in is you click Window and then you click uh, just find the animation and animator and click those and they'll pop up and then just drag the little tab like this over and then you'll have it so now I'm gonna keep it in scene we're going to go to uh, hierarchy actually no just go to game objects create other and then go down to sprite click sprite I'm gonna rename it player player I thought I deleted that there you go player and enter so that's going to be updated over here in assets let's just get our, bring over our gimp uh sprite sheet i'm going to put that in assets actually here to make this easier we're going to click create once you have assets right click click right right click assets and then create folder and we're going to call this sprite uh Player sprites. Click enter and then just drag that in. 
player sprites. Now it's in here. Um, yep, see that's this is what it thinks a sprite is right now. We don't want that. So just click on click on it. Click default, make sure it's in default. And uh, in format, change it to true color. Make sure it's in sprite 2D GUI mode. Change the sprite mode to multiple. And now make uh, change the filter mode to point. It really doesn't matter, but it's sometimes easier for point is easier in point. Now click sprite editor, slice, and then uh, once you have slice selected, go change the pivot to the bottom and method. Keep that the same. Just click slice. Now we have two little. It has two sprites selected. So click. Also, you can see also the checkered background. Click apply. Now we have two separate. If you left click, well, click the little arrow next to your sprite sheet, you have two separate little guys. So we're gonna come into animation and player, select player in the hierarchy and then go to animation and click add curve. I'm gonna call this player uh, running. Running, save. And once we have it opened up, just control, just hold control, select both of them. Um, add curve. I think that's it. No, it's not. Why can I not? Animator. Hierarchy. Um, maybe select this. There we go. I guess then just okay. All right, just select that then. I thought I had it right the first time. So now you can just click the little test button, and you can see that animation's way, way, way too fast. So we're gonna come in here. Uh, no, excuse me. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Nah, just put that back to two. Come into the sample, and uh, in the sample, I'll change this to say six. I think I did something wrong. I really just want these two. The key. Is this right? Yeah, it's right. See, now we've got a little guy who's running on screen. And, uh, sorry about the little, uh, technical difficulties. But, uh,. You know, this is how you create an animated sprite and put it into Unity. So now we get a little player that's running. If we go into game, you can see I'm running the game. Alright, and uh, so that's it for this tutorial. And if you have any questions, ask me down in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.